Hey guys, I'm Greg. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews. Hey, we got another one from Surly Brewery Company. This is their Bender. I got a friend of mine who goes by that name. Mike, we reviewing a beer for you here, brother. <laughs> Matt, thanks again, buddy. This comes from the big box of beer mail that Matt sent me, the second one. So, uh, very appreciative of Matt sending these beers to me. Uh, I cannot get these beers here in Virginia. I don't think a lot of people can get these beers unless they're up there in Minnesota. So, uh, and the guys up there in Minnesota, people that drink this up there, you're lucky. That's all I can say. These are awesome beers, guys. Everyone, I don't think I've had a bad one out of the bunch. So, some of them are not quite in my style, and I may not grade them as high as I need to, or, or whatever there. But I'm just telling you what I like and and, and what, it, what it tastes like to me guys. It's just my humble opinion and you can take it for what it's worth and you might love what I hate and vice versa. So with that being said, let's get on with this show. Thanks again Matt for sending this beer to me. Uh, Surly Brewing out of Minnesota. This is American Brown Ale 5.10 ABV. It's what it's got here. It's what it's got here. I'll be using a 45. Date on the bottom of the can. Canned on 9-28-2012. So, Got all the damn information you need right there. Thumbs up for them. These guys are on the ball. They're, they're not only stepped up to the plate, they round and they got hit a home run most of the time. So these guys got it going on. Uh, started brewing beers, uh, year round availability on this one. Uh, Glasswire's Pint Glass, Becker, the Stein Tumbler, the Mug, about anything you want to pour it in, it's poured in something. Food prank for this one, guys, and barbecue cheeses are. Earthy, Camembert, Fontina, your nuttier cheeses, Asiago, Colby, Parmesan, and uh, the meat for this is beef, So, but it goes with a lot more stuff than that. This is a brown ale. Should be fairly semi-sweet with some nuttiness and maybe even some coffee and stuff like that going on. So, should be fairly easy drinking, no hot bomb or anything like that. So, uh, guys, uh, this beer is not recommended for extended salaries being the ABV is only 5.10. So, without further ado, I see I do have the website up here. Uh, it says, Bender, here's what happens when substance meets smooth. This oatmeal brown ale defies traditional categories. Bender begins crisp and light, hoppy, complemented by the velvety sweetness oats deliver. So they use oats in the brewing of this, guys. Belgian and British malt usher in cascades of cocoa, coffee, caramel, and hints of vanilla and cream. An easy drinking ale with many layers of satisfaction. Well, I'll be damned. Imagine that. We'll be the judge of that. What do you think about that, guys? I'm pretty sure it's going to live up to the hype that's on the side of the can and on the website. These guys seem like they know what they're doing. Matt, you got a good brewery up there, guy. These guys got some damn tasty beers, and seem like all of them are about winners, so they don't have hardly any losers in there. So, thumbs up for them for that. Over to the light, guys. It is a rich cola looking uh, ruby. Not red ruby, but it's cola ruby. You know, it looks like a, a very, either a heavy tea or a light cola, guys. Fairly clear. I can see the ball through there. Some, not super clear, but clear enough where I can see the ball through there. Got a few bubbles streaming up, reinforcing the creamy brown head on there. Looks very good in a glass. Didn't get a monster head, which is good, because that 16 ounce can fills this glass up. So guys, let's get a nose on it. Oh, cocoa. Yeah, some nuttiness going on there too, I mean it's... Just a slight hint of vanilla. That had a very pleasant smell. Very nice brown ale smell to it. Mmm. Smells good. Let's give it a taste, guys. Cheers, Matt. Thanks again, buddy. Mmm. 
nuttiness, caramel, toffee, roasted malt. Lift a slight hint of coffee. Look at the lacing on the glass already. One sip down, two to go here. Very smooth. No alcohol taste whatsoever. A nice, very nice nuttiness to this. From their from their website it says uh, I'll be using 45. I told you that. And the ABV, that says 5.5 here. It's only 5.1 on the can, so their website is wrong. It says 5.5 on their website. Uh, American Brown Ale, the Mulch Pale. Ale, aromatic, medium crystal, dark crystal, oats, and chocolate. The hops are Columbus and Willamette. And the yeast is English ale yeast, guys. So, fairly pleasant. I don't drink a lot of brown ale. It's just what I review for y'all mostly, guys. There are a couple that I do drink on when I do buy the variety packs and things like that. Mixed packs. Don't normally drink the... Uh, the brown owls on a regular basis. I get enough of them during the reviews to, to wet my whistle with that style. So, very nice. It's right out of the fridge, 40 degrees. No the deal. But the old lady sips some, and that's not disrespectful. She's she's my she's my honey. So, I'm gonna let her sip some of this and uh, see what the what the reaction is on from her. And uh, we'll be right back. We we'll do the final chug on this one, guys. Stick around. All right, guys. I'm back. I've got just a little left here. It's pretty tasty. Caramel, toffee, nutty. Very nice. Very pleasant. Thanks again. Appreciate this, Matt. I'll show you guys. Very easy drinking. Very sessionable. No alcohol at all. It is very, very pleasant. Uh, it's got a very, very interesting vanilla nuttiness to it. So, uh, and he sent the uh, the coffee version of this too. So that may be tomorrow's uh, review. We might go ahead and do this back to back just to compare the differences and stuff there and see how much more coffee there is in that one compared to this one. So, uh, guys, got got the information on the bottom of the can as far as dating. Got the ABV on there. Uh, this, this is another winner as far as I'm concerned. I'm going to give it to 8 again. They seem like we're, we're running in a bunch of A beers here. So it's an A minus. Uh, very tasty. Like I said, it's not my style. I don't usually drink this type of beer. But very tasty. Very tasty. Uh, especially somebody that may drink you know, a Bud Miller or Coors. Uh, uh, if they're into trying something different. A lot of people are scared to death of the color. You pour something and it ain't golden lager color. Uh, they just flip out. Oh, I can't drink that. But this has got a, a real nice pleasant. It does have some hot bitterness to it. So uh, it's fairly balanced though. Uh, it's worth trying. So anybody that's not had a brown ale. This will be a good one. If you're up in Minnesota guys. Uh, it's a. Uh, it's a tasty beer, so we're going to leave it at that. Uh, beer Advocate uh, comes up. Right Beer has 97 overall and 99 in the style. And Beer Advocate comes up with 93, which is in their exceptional range. So, uh, very nice. I agree. It's a, it's above average beer. It's, I don't know, back to exceptional. Not quite to the exceptional grade for me, guys, but it definitely is an A beer. So, with that being said, Matt, I appreciate you sending this to me. I have, like I said, I have a friend of mine, Mike, uh, Ramey, that uh, we call Bender. That's his, uh, it's his handle. He's a carpenter and been known to bend a few nails, I guess, in his day. So uh, I'm going to dedicate this to Mike. Mike, this one's for you. And we're going to do the, the coffee bender probably tomorrow. And we're going to dedicate that one to him, too. But Matt, thanks again, guys. Hit that like button if you like what you're saying. Let's look in the fridge tomorrow. It's probably going to be just as good as this one. I sure hope it is. Let's see it. See you then.